This video is about the ionic equation for neutralization. There is a general ionic equation that you're going to learn about now that happens during every neutralization reaction. To think about it, let's start with the general equation for neutralization, which is acid plus alkali gives us salt plus water. Now, all the examples of acid plus alkali gives you salt plus water, they always have water at the end. The salt might be different because the acid and alkali are different, but water is always made. And that is the key to understanding this ionic equation for neutralization. Think about what the definition of an acid is. An acid is something that will donate hydrogen ions. So there's always hydrogen ions in an acid. An alkali is something that gives hydroxide ions when it's dissolved. So there's always a hydroxide ion in an alkali. If we look at the two of them and how they would combine, it would give our favourite colourless liquid. And that about sums up what's going on. But I want to look a little bit more about how you write ionic equations and why this is true. Let's look again at how we construct an ionic equation. Here I have my favourite neutralisation reaction. Hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide gives sodium chloride plus water. Let's write the symbols. So hydrochloric acid, that is dissolved, so AQ, plus sodium hydroxide. Again, AQ gives sodium chloride. Again, dissolved, AQ, and we know that water, H2O, is a liquid. Now we're going to write the full ionic equation. So hydrochloric acid, well, that is hydrogen ion dissolved plus the chlorine ion, well, it must be negative if the hydrogen ion is positive. Then we want the sodium chloride ions. Oh, sodium hydroxide, apologies. The hydroxide ion making it an, an alkali. And then we have the sodium chloride ions. Uh, and Finally, we have the water, which is not ionic, it's covalent, so we leave it as it is. Now, let's have a look, because we have, on this side, we have all of these ions, and we have two ions and our water. So if we're looking for what has changed, what is different, well, the chlorine ion is still dissolved in the water as its own individual ion, and the sodium ion is still dissolved in the water as its own individual ion. Nothing has particularly changed there with these two ions. So when we write our ionic equation, we can leave them out. And that is how we get to when we can say that we have hydrogen ions dissolved with oops, hydroxide ions. And that gives us our water because you can see that and it's the easiest way for me to see that the water is a different state and that will help us work out which ions are involved in the reaction. Let's have a look at a second example here we've got sulfuric acid I like to do an example with sulfuric acid because it's H2SO4 so those two hydrogen ions just make things a little bit more complicated and then we have lithium hydroxide as our alkali in this case so if we have sulfuric acid, then we make a salt that is sulfate, lithium hydroxide, then the salt will involve lithium, so lithium sulfate, and of course, water always added. So I'm going to write the uh, e symbol equation. We have H2SO4 is our sulfuric acid that is dissolved. And then we will have lithium hydroxide. You'll notice I'm leaving a little space because I'm going to need to balance this um, and then that is going to make lithium sulfate. I know that it's a 2 there because lithium has a charge of 1 plus, sulfate has a charge of 2 minus, so we'll need 2 lithiums to go with the sulfate and then finally we have water which we know is a liquid. So we're going to need to balance this because we have got 
two lithium um, atoms here, but only one there. Two hydrogens, three hydrogens, but only two over here. So we will do that by uh, needing two of these and therefore making two of those. I will just uh, give you a moment to have a little check to see that that is right. Two, four H's, four hydrogens here, two lithiums, two lithiums, one sulfate, one sulfate, two oxygens, two oxygens. Let's look at the full ionic equation for this. So we will have two hydrogen ions plus our sulfate ion. It's going to be two minus. I'm afraid you have to learn that one. Um, and then we have two lithium ions. That's in group one, so it'll have a single positive charge. And then we have two hydroxide ions, negative one. Uh, you have to learn that one as well. If I know that it's two, we have a big two out the front. That will mean that there's two lithium and two hydroxide ions. All of it is multiplied by two. That will then be made into our two lithium ions again. Again, we know the charge is plus one. Uh, it's in group one. Um, plus our sulfate ion, the charge is minus two. They dissolve because it's the, the salt, so they're separated. And then our two covalently bonded water molecules. So again, we look at what is the same as before. So we have our sulfate ion here and our sulfate ion here and it's still aqueous it's dissolved in the liquid in the water and we have our two lithium ions here that have been dissolved and nothing is different so the only ones that are different here is our hydrogen and our hydroxide which we can then rewrite into our ionic equation. No, oh, I should have two. Uh, it gives us two H2O. And of course we know that um, we're looking at ratios so we can get rid of all those twos. They would cancel through to give us the same ionic equation as we had before. All of our acid plus alkali neutralization reactions have exactly the same ionic equation. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm not very sure about all of this, you just need to learn this equation as the general ionic equation for a neutralization reaction.